so interesting how afraid we are <clears throat> as musicians to literally just put content out, right? It's so interesting how how much we'll overthink putting out a song or putting out content or making ma even fucking making the content. And what I've realized and what I've learned is this. Once you turn on the camera and post it, people seeing you on their screen elevates your status. That alone elevates your brand. If your videos obviously look terrible, like I'm talking about terrible, like it's literally just a video of you smoking weed in the studio, like on a shitty ass phone, that's probably not going to elevate your status. But just literally like me just talking, showing off who I am, just being me, talking on these videos and posting them, you seeing me is already going to elevate my status. And so you can do the same thing. You can leverage the exact same thing as a music creative. And it's funny, like I'll, I'll probably do another video more talking about my experience at the pergola seeing the Russell. But like, <clears throat> it's interesting, like everything around the Russell is, is obviously so elevated and so legit. Over a million followers, you know, I see him on my screen doing his thing all the time. And then to go to the show and see him and I was like, wow, obviously super impressed. But then after the show, to have the opportunity to actually dap him up and talk to him and ask him a question. His status is so elevated, but what made me realize he's a regular human being who wears t-shirts, hoodies, sweats, and Crocs. He doesn't even wear jewelry at all. And I was like, hmm. I said, when I met him, I said, man, and now he himself is a very, very cool, humble, amazing person. So he might be an exception. But what I noticed was how much all of us, like why are people so excited and enamored to see somebody? It's like, well, they've seen him on the screen and they've seen him do his thing and they've had him in their ears and that elevates the status before you even link up. So to elevate yourself as a music artist, just you let, just, just letting, let alone just you being on the screen showing up on a consistent basis is going to help you. And the more at bats you get when it comes to the amount of songs you put out, you're increasing your chances. So with that being said, if you are a music artist, if you're a songwriter specifically, and you're not putting out consistent music because you have to rely on producers, you are seriously lacking and missing out on a major, major, major opportunity. If you're already locked in with a producer and it's just like good to go, solid. But if you're not able to put out at least one song a month, like minimum, so that's like 12 plus songs per year. If you're not able to put out at least one single per month because of the producer you're locked in with because they're slowing you down, you have a problem, right? You have a problem because to even get to the point where you're able to elevate your status as a music artist and create any sort of buzz or brand is going to take you putting out music and content and reps. And if you're constantly just buying beats on BeatStars that are rented or leased or you're getting them on YouTube – and you have to rely on producers that really aren't reliable, then the problem is you're not able to elevate your brand, elevate your status, and grow as a music artist at all. And so, you know, you might even be on YouTube right now trying to search for answers on how to become your own producer. And it could be really tough. There's a lot of information out there. There's a lot of tutorials out there. Some of them might be in your DAW. Some of them might not be. And it's like really hard to gather all the information. But I'm sure you're at a place where you're like, hey, Lee, I'm vibing with what you're saying. I want to elevate my brand. I want to elevate my status as a music artist. I want to grow and create a buzz. But you're right. I'm not able to re release music on a consistent basis that is high quality and that I own the rights to. So it's really a couple of things. You have to release music on a consistent basis. It's got to be high quality and you have to own the rights. And it's very, 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 very difficult to do that relying on other people. Okay, And that's why I went and took the approach I did, which was making my own beats, recording vocals here at the crib, mixing and mastering myself. Now, it took me four years to get really, really great at producing because I had to rely on YouTube videos. So that's why at this point, I've created the Rapid Fire Music Academy, where I've taught over 40 other songwriters how to become their own music producers. So that means I've taught over 40 other songwriters how to produce instrumentals, record vocals at home, mix and master, and the trajectory of all of their careers is crazy. The amount of money they've made back is crazy. 
right? The amount of time that they're able to get back because they don't have to rely on producers, the amount of output that they're able to get is crazy. It's, it's a no brainer. And so if you're at this point where you're like, hey, I've tried learning a bunch of different ways and I've tried figuring out how to become a producer and I want to be my own producer, but I just, I'm, I'm stuck. Then all you can do is click below the link in the description of this video. Go watch the main training where I actually show you exactly what I showed all those other songwriters. And I can show you how to become your own producer in 90 days. So hope this helps and I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace.